So let's continue with the double and half angle formulas. So double angle formulas. And the way we do these is we're going to do just these same uh, addition subtraction formulas. We're going to do the addition part. Um, so just the summation formulas, but with u equals v. Okay, or v equals u, however you want to think of it. So <clears throat> we get cosine of 2u, and this is just going to be plugging in u equals v into the other one. And this will give us, and we're going to get three different versions. We're going to get cosine squared u minus sine squared u. But using the Pythagorean identity, we could turn this into either uh, 2 cosine squared u minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine squared u. All right. Then plugging in uh, to the, oopsie daisy, plugging into the, um, Fix this really quick. Boop. Plugging into the sine formula, so sine of 2u is going to be 2 sine u sine, uh, sorry, sine u cosine u. <coughs> uh, similarly, we've got tangent of 2u, and that's going to be just taking the sine u cosine u and dividing it by um, one one of these and it, it'll all work at dividing it by the the uh, one minus two sine squared u um, or hmm which one I think I think we I think we divide it by cosine squared minus one sine squared it doesn't matter uh, anyways we're gonna end up with uh, two tangent u over one minus tangent squared u. And like I said, the way you do this is just by taking this divided by this. Uh, so that gives us our double angle formulas for sine, cosine, and tangent. The most important one, of course, being the three formulas for cosine. That's the most important one. Uh, the next thing I want to do is the half angle formula. And the reason that, that uh, cosine one is so important, is we can use the cosine formula because we're relating the cosine of u to the cosine of 2u, and we're relating the sine of u to the sine of, to the cosine of 2u. Using that, I can derive the half angle formulas. And the half angle formulas are going to just use uh, right sine of u or cosine of u with cosine of 2u. Okay, so using that double angle formula. And the way we're going to do this is, of course, uh, just let's solve this for cosine of u. So this, set it equal to that, and solve for cosine of u. And what we're going to end up with is cosine of u over 2 Oops. is equal to the square root of 1 plus cosine u all over 2. We're going to get the sine of u over 2 is equal to the square root of 1 minus cosine u over 2. And finally, <coughs> the last one is tangent of u over 2. And that's going to be, again, taking this divided by this, which is going to come out to be the square root of 1 minus cosine u over 1 plus cosine u. All right, and those are the half angle formulas. So the the double angle formulas are going to work out uh, just the same as with the addition formula. So if I if I can do something with the double angle formula, I probably could do it with just the addition formula. So you know, for example, if I wanted to do uh, cosine of 120 degrees, this is of course you know cosine of 2 times 60 degrees. But I could also think of this as just cosine of 60 degrees plus 60 degrees. So it's it's not so interesting or so new on its own. To me, what's exciting about this is, you know, and we could we could compute that, yay. To me, what's exciting is it, is it gives us inroads to the half angle formulas. Now let's do an exciting, quote unquote, half angle formula. So let's find 
the sine of 67 degrees and 30 minutes. So that's a very strange angle, right? Well, since we just talked about the half angle formula, uh, oh, oh and, and so here we would compute this with the sum formula and it would, you know, it would eventually give us, uh, what is it, one half uh, if we went through it. Not a big deal. Um, but uh, this now is gonna be a little bit different. So I want us to, it, this is half of some angle. So what is that half of? It's gonna be half of 135 degrees. So sine of 135 degrees. And what's 135 degrees? Well, let's look at our unit circle here. Well, why am I, no reason to make it so small. Let's look at our unit circle here. So this is 45 degrees. And if I add 90 degrees to 45 degrees, I get 135 degrees. Now sine is the height, uh, it's the y value. So this has sine 45 degrees as the height. And 135 degrees turns out to be uh, exactly the same height. So sine of 45 degrees, which is root two over two. So this is gonna be uh, sine of 100, so sorry. So that's, that's uh, sine of 135 degrees. Now cosine of 135 degrees, well, cosine of 45 degrees, this is the x value here, is again square root of 2 over 2, but cosine of 135 degrees, it's, it's the same thing, but the mirror image, right? So this is going to be negative square root of 2 over 2 is cosine of 135 degrees. Okay. That got a little bit squished up. So now I know the sine and cosine of 135 degrees, and what I want to compute here is the sine of 135 degrees divided by 2. Well, using the half angle formula, this is equal to the square root of uh, 1 minus cosine of 135 degrees, all divided by 2. So what is cosine of 135 degrees? Well, we just computed it. It's negative root 2 over 2. So this equals square root of 1 minus, and then up top we got negative root 2 over 2, sorry, so 1 minus negative root 2 over 2, all divided by 2, and this becomes 1 plus root 2 over 2, um, so I'm going to write this as, I'll just go one step at a time, 1 plus root 2 over 2, over 2, and keep going. Uh, and, you know, honestly, you could stop here if you want. I'll, I'll keep going, just so that we get a prettier answer. But this I could write as 2 plus root 2 over 4. And then I could, of course, write this as the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2. So this, this is the square root of a square root under there, all divided by 2. Okay, and that's an example of using the half angle formula. Uh, the last thing that I want to mention is the co-function formulas. In the cofunction formulas, uh, we can get from the addition subtraction formulas, but the cofunction formulas are going to be things like so cofunction formulas. These are going to be things like uh, we've got, um, let's just do a simple one. <clears throat> Pardon me. We've got sine of x is equal to cosine of pi over 2 minus x. All right, and, and let's prove that really quick. So let's consider cosine of pi over 2 minus x. Well, let's, let's use the uh, sum and difference formulas. So remember, minus here means plus here. So this is going to be cosine pi over 2 uh, cosine x plus sine pi over 2, sine x. But cosine pi over 2, that's the x value of 90 degrees, that's 0. Sine pi over 2, that's the y value of 90 degrees, that's 1. So this is 0 times cosine x, plus 1 times sine x, which is, of course, just sine x. So the cofunction form is, there are a whole bunch of these, and basically they come from taking your favorite angle, um, sorry, your, your favorite trig function, and putting in uh, either pi over 2 minus x or x minus pi over 2 or something like that, because pi over 2 turns sine and cosine into either 1 or 0, respectively. Now, if we also look at cosine of 0 minus x, 
we're going to get cosine of 0, which is of course 1, times cosine of x, minus becomes plus for cosine, sine of 0, which is of course 0, sine of x, and we get that cosine of negative x equals cosine of x. So let's, let's summarize a few of these things. So we just got that cosine of negative x equals cosine of x. Similarly, we can get sine of negative x equals negative sine of x, and tangent of negative x equals negative tangent of x. So we see that cosine is an even function, and sine and tangent are odd functions. And I think that's a good place to stop.